all today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am my name is Lisa and I am a cruelty free youtuber that does a lot of videos about makeup and today we are going to talk about makeup or I am and I am going to do like I not in a will I buy it and the whole thing I just wanted to talk about some new makeup releases and some are not that new but I want to talk about makeup, so I think we just get into this. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, kind of ten things that I want to talk about. So I think I scooch a little, and then we just get started. Okay, so I don't know. This light might not be good to have on. No, <laughs> so I turned it off. And I'm going to talk about things I want, things I don't have decided, and things that I absolutely, absolutely don't want. So, I don't know where to start. Should we start with, should I save the most fun things to last? And actually some of the, these things are on its way home to me. I just want to talk about them because I want to. So we can start with maybe one thing that's a little bit unusual when it comes to me. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. But okay, Natasha Denona is coming out with a new palette, with this palette. And I have the Bloom palette, the face palette. I'm not super fan of that one. I also have one single shade that I got from my friend Madeleine. I haven't tried it yet though. Other than that, I haven't tested anything from Natasha Denona because I think it's too expensive. But this new palette, the Sendo eyeshadow palette, like, this is not me, <laughs> but like, do I want this? I don't know. And then, me and some of my friends, we have like a makeup group, we talk, it's, and we talk about makeup, and uh, they start to talk about this palette, and I like, I don't want it. But then I was like, maybe I do, but... Do I want to spend that much money on an eyeshadow palette? I don't think so, but... <sighs> Am I ever going to try an Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette? I don't know. It feels like such a commitment in some way. I could easily spend this kind of money on other things, but like when it comes to Natasha Denona, I'm like, no, I don't think so. But it's like... It is so expensive, but I don't know. Will this be my first Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette? Time will tell. Then we can talk, I have two things from Linda Hallberg. We can start with a thing that isn't that old. They came out with new lip, liquid lipsticks. And I have a lot of their Fantastics, their bullet lipsticks I really like them for if I just want something on my lips but I don't want to have such a big commitment to them they are really comfortable they have SPF 15 and I have liked them a lot one of them I think is my most used lipstick of all time but then they come out with this final latex something and I was like, no, even though it was not going to be sticky, but it was like glossy or like latex. I'm not into that. I'm into this matte, dry <laughs> goodness. But these, I think I like these. The problem is I don't know which color I want to try. I think I would love to swatch them, but you are not allowed to swatch things now during the thingy. So I don't know. Maybe the ones, the like pinkish shades. I don't know, but I want one of these. I can't just decide which one, but I am like, 99% sure that I'm going to buy at least one of these. Maybe two. We will see. The other thing that Linda Hallberg is releasing is this one. This is a rainbow palette. And first I was like, we have seen this a lot. 
But then I watched Anilka Nyqvist's, I think it was one of her makeup release videos talking about new makeup releases and she said something that was 100% correct. That this is new for Sweden. Sometimes I feel like <laughs> it is a lot of difference between the Swedish market and the market in US and I think in the UK as well. This is one of the first super colorful palettes that you can go into a normal store in Sweden and buy. This is not something that is super available on the Swedish market. Now, yes, but like a year ago it wasn't. There is of course some Swedish indie brands, other indie brands that are doing this kinds of thing, but it's not like you go into a Sephora in Sweden or to a Kix that is our big beauty store in Sweden and see a lot of colorful palettes. You don't. And when she said that, I was like, of course people, normal makeup people, <laughs> how, I hope you get what I mean. Like, I know that I have a lot more makeup than a normal person, but like a person, a people, a people, a person, a people, a person, what? A person that is into makeup, but more neutral makeup, I think it would fit their collection because this is something fun and something you can't like describe in Sweden. So, I maybe I don't think this is for me though. In the beginning when Linda Hallberg started her brand, I bought everything. Now I don't do that, but I think it's fun. But I don't want it. Then we can talk about the melt. <laughs> I want to talk about two things. They come out with cream blush lights. This was a while ago, I think. But... Um, I like want to use creams and liquids. But I don't know how. But I want to. And... I haven't heard much about these. I don't think that I watched a video about them. I know that people have done videos on them, but YouTube has not been my priority the latest, but I think I would actually like to try this one. This one or like a Fenty one. I don't know. I'm a little bit intrigued. But another thing that Melt has released that I'm not intrigued about at all is the Mary Jane palette. First of all, like Melt stop this weed theme. I'm sick of it. Just leave it. There is other things in the world than weed. And also this is grayish. Gray is not my yes. Like at all. I've done some gray looks that I like. But would I ever buy a palette that is only gray? And the one thing with Melt is like some of their palettes is amazing. I'm using this one today or I have this on today. I really like it. I have other palettes from Melt that like half of the palette is good. The other half is... And it's like this weed theme. I don't know if I sound like conservative. But smoke weed if you want to, I couldn't care less. But I think it's like, okay, we get it. You're edgy, you're cool, we get it. Just stop it. So I'm not going to buy this. I wish that Melt comes out with something. I really need to buy a new memory card because this is getting on my nerves. It cut me off again. I wish that Melt comes out with something more fun and not weed theme. Like the video use collection. That was fun and not weed theme. Should I t t t talk talk about the brand that I want to try? I've talked about this before. But they have released a new palette since I talked about them. And it's Gay Beauty. I at least think I have. Have I? I can't remember. But Gay Beauty. I have seen a lot of my friends do videos with these. And I am intrigued. I don't know which p 
palette I like the most. I like this brighter palette, more like pastel pa palette because it's not something that I have in my collection. But at the same time, their first palette, this one, is more like me, I think. And I think I just want to wait and see if they come up with something more fun that speaks more to me, then maybe I will finally try them. But I just feel that they have such cool palettes in one way. It has been such a long time since I really like shopped for palettes, so I... It's like, I don't know. I don't know what I like it more. I don't know what's fun. I don't know what's boring. Is this fun? Do I like this? Do I want this? I don't know. But it's something about Game Beauty. Maybe because I really love indie makeup. I don't know. But these, yeah, maybe. Another eyeshadow palette that I think <laughs> is this one from Beach Cosmetics. They are doing birth birth stones little birth stones palette jesus christ i mean look at the she does a series with them and each month each month use the palettes for the month you know exactly what i mean and now in may it is this emerald envy and <sighs> green has found a special place in my heart and this palette, and especially with this shade down the middle, the bronzy, high spirit, I don't know. And stubborn. This might be something. I think I want to try some more palettes from Beach Cosmetics. I have some of the Sweet Shop palettes. They are amazing in quality. And I think these are going to... Because I think I want smaller palettes. Or do I? Do you hear me? I am so confused. But I like the color story of this one. And as I said, green has apparently found a place in my heart. And it's going to stay there. Whatever I have to say about it. I don't know. Okay, I have two things left. The most exciting things. And I guess you haven't missed that Kaleidos is coming out with a new collection. The Flower Punk collection. And what I know of now, I'm not getting it PR, and I really, really wanted it, so I bought it. I... The release was... I don't know. <laughs> it feels like it's two camps. Some people that think it was so smooth, and then it's me that doesn't think that, and I know that others feel with me, because they restocked during... They released it. It was so strange. I wanted to buy the full set without a dresser because I don't know where to put the dresser. And I put it in my cart. I was checking out and it was sold out. And I was like, okay, fuck it. I buy it with a dresser. So I go back, put that in my cart and was going to pay and it was sold out. So I was like, okay, I want the eyeshadow palette and the two lip bundles. So I bought them, checked out. It was confirmed my order and everything and then I went back and saw that everything was back in stock again and I was like what the fuck but yeah <laughs> I got the eyeshadow palette and the two lip bundles I'm I'm so looking forward to the lip bundles like I don't know where to go lipsticks are my I love them and they're releasing a new red and I love Kaleidos old liquid lipsticks or lip tonics. It's some of my absolute favorite formulas. And I can't wait to try these. And also the eyeshadow palette. It is like a mix. We talked about this in my makeup group that I have with my friends. We talked about it. It's like they have put together. Or half of the palette is melts. 24-7 palette and I really wanted that palette but I heard that the quality was shit and I guess that Kaleidos is going to be good because they do some of my absolute favorite eyeshadow formulas so I was like yes I love that it looks like that so I am so excited for this to arrive it will take like a month for it but or even more but I bought it and I'm so happy 
I'm a little bit bummed out that I didn't get the lip mask. Like, who am I? But I got the tattoos, I think. I don't care about the tattoos that much. Okay, and should we talk about the last thing? That is the most exciting thing. And it is, of course, Annette and Minari Cosmetics palette. I... Annette has been a friend of mine for... Two and a half years, I think. And when this came out, she was doing a collab with Minardi. I, I was so proud. I was like, it felt like it was me <laughs> that were releasing a palette. I, I didn't know what to say to Annette, but it's so amazing. I have followed Annette since she has like hundred subscribers or something like that, and it has been so cool to be with her, the journey and. I'm so proud of her and I love the palette and I love the shimmery orange. And uh, they were only releasing 400 palettes in the first batch and I got one. I don't know how that happened. I was like logging into my account at Minority like five times and was like, yeah, I got an order here. And I got the confirmation and the money was drawn from my account i still wasn't sure so i like logged in and said and like yeah i have an order number i got the freaking palette i know i am 100 biased with this one but like i support my friends to the end and i think she did a really cool color story i love that there is a matte green, a shimmer green, a matte blue, a shimmer blue, you know that I love that things. And it's going to be so fun to use this. It's not shipping until I think a little over a week. Maybe it started to ship when you see this. And it's going to take a long time for it to get here. But I am so excited. It has been a long time since I was this excited by, it, by a palette, but I am so happy that I got it and I'm so proud of Annette and it's going to be so fun and yeah I think that was all I want to talk about another thing that is going to be like a new release for me but it's a really old release my it's freaking bats palette is soon here it has reached Sweden finally now just customs has to let my palette go so I can have it but okay, that was all for this video. I really hope you liked it. Is it something new release uh, or maybe a little bit older release or super old release? I don't know. That you really, really want to buy. But yeah, I really hope you liked this video. And if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!